So to start um, our networking lab, we're going to start off by opening a, a console terminal. You can find it down here, this little icon on the left hand side. And just to check things are working correctly, the first thing we're going to do is type GNS3 and hit enter. What that will do is it will launch our network simulation program and once it's launched you can just hit cancel and quit quit out of it. All that's doing is checking you have the right folders and subdirectories and things. So we can quit out of it like this. Eventually it will quit. So to get started on this lab we have to move into our master directory, make a copy of that directory and then we can go in and launch our own copy of the simulated network from there. So to do that we're going to type in cd which stands for change directory and then the um, path that is in your lab script. Um, so that's local scratch anger 110 anger lab base anger 101-2017 and just as a reminder you can push tab to autocomplete any of those fields that you like. Once we're in this directory um, we can type ls and see all the all the options, folders and files that are in there and what we want to run from here is this thing called create personal copy. When I run that it will uh, take a while to copy your files over so I'm going to stop the recording for a moment, wait till that finish and then we'll start back up again. Okay so that has uh, that has finished copying now. Um, what it's done is it's made another copy of this directory next to the folder in which I currently am. So if I type in cd dot dot, cd space dot dot, that will take me up a directory level. Type in ls and you can see that there's a few different copies of this folder on this computer um, used by various different students. I'm only going to focus on my one, I've only got access to my one and my is the one that ends in elf. So I go cd and then the name of that directory move into it and once I'm into there I can start the lab by pushing dot slash start network. Hit enter. What we'll see is this will boot up all these different machines. I just hit cancel at this point and what we'll see is um, and again just hit no we'll see all the machines slowly coming up on the right hand side down there. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, hopefully you shouldn't get any errors at this point and once you're ready to start the lab hit the green arrow here and you will see about 15 different windows uh, pop open in time. Um, once those are up, you can get started with the lab, and you do that by watching the next video.